Hi there, everyone. Welcome to number four, episode number four of our square foot garden adventure. Uh, I guess it's a garden blog. I guess that's what we call it. As you can see, this first bed is doing amazingly well. It is every time I post a new video, it's just grown by leaps and bounds. It's kind of insane. Um, as you can see, we have some snap peas growing, or sugar peas, sugar snap peas, some sort of pea. They're, uh, they're growing. I don't know that these plants are doing well, these, but they seem to be growing. Um, everything else seems to be growing a little faster. Again, this is my first year of doing this, so I don't know if it's doing well or not. <laughs> it looks like it's doing well. So there's that. There's peas on there. So I think it's doing well. As you can see, if you look at the thumbnails um, from week to week, they're all from they're all taken from the same location in this bed. And you can just looking at the thumbnail, you can see how much it's grown, regardless of if you watch the videos or not. It's 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 pretty amazing. Some of it's not doing what it's supposed to. I've got broccoli bolting and spinach bolting, and that's user error. I apparently have planted these things at the wrong time and I'm getting what I deserve but I still it's still really enjoyable for me to watch them grow watch them do their thing the kale is uh, we've been eating it I picked some kale the other day and chopped it up and added it in with some mixed vegetables and you would have thought it was spinach you could not tell what it was that's amazing the lettuce looks great. The carrots are growing. The carrots are getting a little extra shade these days from the leaves of the leaves of the kale and I guess broccoli and tomato plants that are encroaching their spot. So I, in the other bed, I planted them on the outer edges of the container, and I probably should have done that here too. But it is what it is. So. Here's the bolting spinach. Apparently, I just have to wait for it to basically turn brown and die, and then I can harvest all those little seeds and use them for next year. So I might try and do that and just plant them at a different time. This is cauliflower, or maybe it's broccoli. I'm not entirely sure, but it hasn't bolted like this broccoli has, but I don't see anything forming in there either. So. Uh, not sure if it's going to produce anything or if it's just not bolting but bolting in a different way. I don't know. But I'll tell you, the bees and bugs seem to love these little yellow flowers from the bolting. There's two bugs there doing weird bug things. I don't want to speculate. But it's just happy. I'm just happy to see shit growing. Here's a cucumber I showed you last time. It's probably double in size from the last video. Seriously. And see, it's got a little vine that's starting to wrap around the, uh, the outer cage here, the outer little fencing. There's another little vine getting ready to do its thing. It's kind of awesome. Cucumber, that was from a seed. Uh, here's some transplanted lettuce that seems to be doing very well. Again, the littler stuff should be on the outside. So this is in a good spot because it won't get too overcrowded by these huge tomato plants. <laughs> these tomato plants have exploded. We've had to add a, a cage to a few of them so they don't fall over. They're just so big. They're doing so well, folks. Look, you can see there's little, little flowers in there. So probably by the next video, we will have some tomatoes, which will be fun. We'll see how much they grow from this stage to about two weeks from now. 
so glad that they're doing well. Here's the pepper plants that we, these are not from seeds, these for, are from the one inch pots. So from being from the one inch pots, these are doing really well. They look beautiful. Got three of them. Two are on the outer side, and then there's one in between two tomatoes back there. I'm not sure how it will do because it's kind of kind of in some shade back there. We'll see. We will learn lessons from this first year and do better next year. This is yellow squash. I've determined the difference between these two plants from looking at my chart. And this is yellow squash and it's doing very well. This was from a seed. The squash seeds and the zucchini seeds seem to be bionic. This is zucchini from a seed that was planted a few weeks ago. And now it is like something you'd see in a jungle. These are the kind of leaves you could take and build a shelter with uh, if you needed to, if you were like on Survivor or something. I will show you how big this is by putting my hand here and I am afraid to report that it seems as if I have man hands. So that's embarrassing. And uh, yep, man hands. Better get that out of frame. Okay, so this is the zucchini, like I said, huge. Is it bolting? I don't know. <laughs> it could be. We'll come back next time and we'll see if there's, if there's some veggies grown out of it or if I've managed to mess that one up too. Here's the corn. It's just doing its thing. Also from, this, no, these were not from seeds, I'm sorry. The corn on the other bed is from seeds. But as you can see, it's all looking really lush. I mean, these could just be regular plants with that didn't produce anything. And I think I would be as excited to go and check it every day because it just is amazing. It's just growing so well. Even the stuff that's bolting, it's it still looks beautiful to me. So. Uh, you can tell I'm a noob. So I took out some of the bolting broccoli and planted in its stead. Uh, I think more tomatoes and maybe a pepper plant or two as well. I didn't want to just toss these into the woods. I figured let, let them live their best life in a five gallon pot. And that's what I did. And they seem to be loving it. They seem to be loving it. I got some advice on gab for the broccoli and basically this person told me broccoli, if you plant broccoli in hot weather and then it gets cool, the broccoli's fine with that. But if you plant the broccoli in cooler weather, like say spring, and then it goes into summer, that's where the bolting starts. So they said, you know, right now if it's warm and hot, plant it. Plant your broccoli and it'll be fine. So I removed the kale that you just saw uh, from this second garden and uh, put it in five gallon pots and put two broccolis there, broccoli seeds there, because I got excited and I wanted to see if that would work here with me or for me. And the kale did not fare as well as the uh, transplanted broccoli did. I put the kale in five gallon pots and it stressed it out completely. Uh, within minutes it wilted and I'm afraid it's, it's going to just die. It did not like being taken out of this square foot garden where the broccoli was like, fuck it, put me anywhere you want, bitch. I'm bolting, I'm happy. Anyway, here's the carrots in the second bed. I planted them willy-nilly. The carrots are, are doing well. There's more bolting spinach. Carrots, I just planted a bunch of seeds. Just I just planted a bunch and they all seem to be growing for now. They seem to not mind being so crowded. We'll see how that goes.
Here's corn from seeds. So it's a good, I would say it's a good two to four weeks behind the corn in the other bed, which was not from seeds. It was from, I think, one-inch pots maybe. So the starter sprouter things or whatever. Lot, most of the stuff here on this second bed is from seeds. So even though it was this was all planted just a week after the first bed, since most of it was seeds, it's more than a week behind as far as growth goes. I don't think anything from a four inch pot was, was planted here. Zucchini, squash, cucumber here, all from seeds. So they are far, well, actually the zucchini and the squash grow fast. So let's, let's see where they are next time. They should be pretty big though. More corn from seeds. This is the pepper plant. I, from one of those broccolis I replanted, we put pepper plant there. More overplanted carrots. It seems to be doing fine for now. Some replanted lettuce. I had put strawberries in there hoping for a strawberry plant but didn't happen so i put lettuce in there instead here's all the overplanted lettuce that i really messed up with by tossing too many seeds in there here we got some mint that mint if you look from the first video to this one it's crazy growth tomatoes look upstate new york has i think probably perfect tomato weather at least it seems that way. We've got uh, some, I forget what this is, sage, thyme, and parsley. The sage, thyme, and parsley, or sage, thyme, and oregano. Shoot, I don't recall. But that stuff is growing really well. Oh, that's parsley. Maybe that was oregano. I think that's parsley. Again, I just threw a shit ton of seeds in there. And they're all they're all coming up. Here it is. My garden. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy I am about this garden. I would say that I'm proud of it, but honestly, it's growing because of the mix and the amount of sunshine and the watering. It's not growing because I have any special skills and I cannot recommend doing this enough. It is so satisfying to wake up in the morning, grab your cup of coffee and go out on the deck and just look at every plant, look for a little flower that might turn into a tomato or watch how quickly that zucchini is growing or See if you see any carrots coming out of the dirt. It's just every day you're just, it's, I don't know. It's, it's very satisfying. It's pretty calming. And, and it's just for, I don't know, for me, it's been fun. And it's just, you know, less time you spend online or trying to digest the news. Just get back to nature and ignore that shit for a while and just, just marvel at at what you can just grow on your deck. Two four by eight beds. So this has been uh, day 41 of our square foot garden adventures. Uh, thank you for watching along. I hope it inspires you folks, especially Especially if you're like me and have zero gardening skills. It's just, even if you just go out there and you have a two by two plot and you grow tomatoes and maybe peppers, you're gonna, you're, it's gonna be fun. Every day is gonna be fun. You're gonna be like, oh, look how big it got. And maybe you'll do your own square foot garden adventure video blog. All right. That is it for this this episode. I was going to say this week, but it's, I've been doing these every couple of weeks. I thank you very much for watching, and I appreciate all of you. And I will see you next time.
Maybe we'll have tomatoes. Who knows? We shall see. Bye-bye.